of this woman in marriage to this man. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I just want to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Jason Davis. I'm Amanda's birth father. And uh, Amanda was adopted by Brennan and Brian. And I've been very blessed today to officiate this wedding. So, so I from just... I want to say thank you uh, for traveling near and far to witness the union between Brandon Scott and Amanda Thomas as they complete their family and holy matrimony. In the sight of God and the presence of family and friends, marriage is a contract not to be entered in, into lightly, but thoughtfully and sincerely, and with a deep realization of the obligation and responsibilities. Marriage is the moment where your heart and soul are joined together in eternity. I'd like us to bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we humbly bow before you today Lord, we ask your blessings upon Brandon and Amanda as we celebrate this special day. Grant them happiness and commitment as their two lives become one, as they create a new family and explore the depths of their love for one another. Bless their families and friends and the relationships which have supported them, strengthened, and sustained them throughout their lives. Bless their home as a place of love and peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The joining of two hearts as husband and wife is a commitment like no other. It offers opportunities for sharing and for personal growth and not other human relationship can equal. A husband and wife are each other's best friends, confidants, lovers, teachers, listeners, and critics. The bond between a husband and wife deepens and enriches every fact of life. Happiness is fuller and commitments are stronger. Marriage also encourages new life and new experiences and finds new ways to express love through ups and downs of life. Brandon and Amanda, as your journey begins as husband and wife, I would ask you both remember always treat each other with respect and re re remind yourself often of what brought you here today. Before we start, before we start the vows, I would like to read a passage from the Holy Bible, 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight evil, but it rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love never fails. 
Uh, well, you're already doing it, so you're facing each other holding hands, so <laughs> we're on track. <laughs> Amanda, do you take Brandon to be your lawful wedded husband to have to hold from this day forward to love, honor, cherish in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? I do. Brandon, do you take Amanda to be your lawfully wedded wife to have, to hold, from this day forward, to love, honor, and cherish, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, for as long as you shall live. Of course I do. It's my boy. Uh, Bodhi, may I have the rings? The ring, an unbroken circle, represents unending love. As often as others of you look upon these rings, may you remember of this moment and the love you promised to one another. Amanda, please place this ring on Brandon's finger and repeat after me. Brandon, Brandon. I, give, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and that, is, that <laughs> I'm choosing to share my life journey with you. <laughs> Brandon, 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 I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. And that I'm choosing to share my life's journey with you. And that I'm choosing to share my life's journey with you. <laughs> Brandon, please do, place this ring on Amanda's finger and repeat after me. Amanda. Amanda. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. And that I am choosing to share my life's journey with you. I am choosing to share my life's journey with you. <clears throat> by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church in the state of Washington, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Brandon, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Brandon and Amanda Scott.
We will be taking family photos at so this time. So if every, everyone else would like to grab a drink up on the mezzanine. And we also have games in the yard. And uh, dinner will be served around 5.45. Thank you.